こんにちは。ありがとうございました。ヒロキ中村さん。ノブハロマツシータさん。Yeah. Boss, this week's income from the sponsors has cleared, and we're making good profit against our running costs. Thank you, Jeff, for interfering in my Japanese、um, welcoming message.、Uh, so, round 17 now.、Um, It's a special, special round for us because we're gonna be racing in our home Grand Prix in Japan. So, myself,、um, Hiroki Nakamura,、uh, and Nobuharu Matsushita will be happy for the homecoming. And yeah, and then our engine is Honda, also from Japan. Our car, Tokyo Racing, is also from Japan, so it's gonna be a very, very interesting race back in Japan. So, we're gonna keep everything up、uh, updated, so such、uh, activities and resources、uh, definitely h a s been、um, updated. So, now let's move. Forward to the, to the 8th of October, and spoiler alert the background there is a special livery for our Japanese Grand Prix. As you can see here, the red and white stripes with no sponsor. We will be doing this for the whole 10 seasons, I guess. Um, we will be using just red and white liveries,、um, special to Japan, Japanese Grand Prix. So, no other colors are allowed, not even s p o n s o r So, let's jump to the pool in the red condition.、Um, the second in Suzuka is. Second for me to place、uh, in. It's not it's gonna give me motivation to work there to find the first win in Japan. So the Japanese team will want to win the Japanese Grand Prix so much. And talking about liveries,、uh, I like this livery.、Uh, maybe we can. Use this to be for the next season, but we can touch up more on the colors、uh, red and white, and then can add another, of course,、uh, our team color black and yellow or gold, you know, just to blend it with the white and black. But for any Japanese Grand Prix, we're just gonna use a red and white. Sponsors on it, so yeah, we'll think about it and we'll see in the coming、um, episodes or weeks if we can get、um, a very, very nice livery on the podium pass that we can edit and change it to the color scheme that we want to. So now, in the final corner. Finish at B10. We're gonna start、um, tomorrow race at P10, but no, we're gonna have a five grade penalty for this race. Welcome along then to the magnificent Suzuka International Circus, a stone's throw away from Isa Bay in the beautiful Japanese countryside. What surprises lie in wait for us today in the Japanese Grand Prix? A lap of this historic racetrack covers 3.6 miles, and it's the only time during the season that we race on a figure of eight racetrack. The drivers can expect some intense G forces through the 18 corners on offer here as they experience some of the highest average apex speeds on the Formula One calendar. And keep an eye out for overtakes going into the final chicane. 
Also here, of course, is Anthony Davidson. Why don't we discuss McLaren? What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within that team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that's definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Charles Leclerc lines up on pole position, and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Vettel, Daniel Ricciardo, and Sainz, Albon, Kvyat, Perez, and Lando Norris, Hamilton, Ocon, Antonio Giovinazzi, and Stroll, Hirani, Raikkonen, Pierre Gasly, and Roman Grosjean, Matsushita, Magnussen, Russell and Nicholas Latifi. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? Okay, I know it's your home Grand Prix, but treat it like any other race. Don't take unnecessary risks. Yep, we won't take any necessary risk. So now for our Grand Prix in for our home Grand Prix in Japan. We have started so early jump to 12 position and now to almost 10th. Oh, wow, well, we hit a Juvenazzi over there. And now we go for Norris. And, but we're gonna, it's gonna be a very, very hard. And you can see that Juvenazzi hits our back. Enough. So now he struggle and that Hamilton passes him. Look at that white and red stripes. And it looks very nice as we go all the way past Paz and Norris. And now we are in P9. So we can set our side to Dedekiviat. Can we go one better? to P9 no to P8 so in lap 1 we so 6 cars already okay, we can grab some more places as you can see um, we are going into the final few corners Charles Leclerc is leading the way We have lost touch to Telecubian. We have lost um, the other pack, but we are now leading in the second the pack three. We appreciate the soon with Norris and as as we love this, we are not gonna let him pass us. In P9 for two points. So it seems like we can get uh, the highest we can get is P9. This race as we lost touch already with Daniel Kivinet. So lap four, we try our best uh, to keep the position.
your speed, our delta is too low and we risk a penalty. Slow your pace immediately. VSC ending, we're going green. Maintain positive delta until the green flags. So, we beat up during the virtual safety car and we thought uh, it will be an advantage for us. But then, we try to um, go for overtake and over, over, over cut plus Yushi then has retired in the this, in this Japanese property because um, another virtual Sattika so I won't get any more uh, position after this so unfortunately um, our strategy pitting in the virtual safety car did not get into uh, a positive thing uh, that we won but nevertheless just continue and hope for the best in this Grand Prix but there's only one Japanese that they're gonna um, cheer for now so all the chair is going to be on me and Matsushi the, the villain of the series and we're looking forward that not to press that we if we want such a team's of your remaining driving their home ground that nevertheless I hope it's on us again in the laptop there again Giovinazzi doing something on us on the first lap oh he needs to be patient I guess and then in the end of that lap Perez uh, is overtaken and the house maybe the Gorjon is number 8 Oh, so, yep, he sets his side to our car behind, but we're not gonna give any position, we hold firm position, although we got the final warning there, to finish in P9 in Japanese Grand Prix in our home GP, two points to our main, thank you Japan. fantastic Grand Prix here in Japan. A brilliant victory that has thoroughly earned the applause from the sellout crowd here today. And talk to me, what do you think it was that sealed the win for them? I feel like consistency was probably the key today. There's being quick and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalize on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team. And they certainly deserve it. So the car the other reds win in Japan let's have a quick look at how the driver's standings have changed Valtteri Bottas passes his rival to take over the lead of the driver's championship so Anthony Davidson who would you rank as your driver of the day that's got to be the flying fin wait how many flying fins have we had now anyway I'm talking about Bottas this time just great raw speed and a good job in traffic as well Let's move on to the constructors. The lead at the top comes down after a strong weekend from the challenging pack. And with that, we wrap up another weekend of motorsport. But with more races lined up, be sure to join us when we come back with more Formula One. So, as you can see, Hamilton uh, finished 12th or 13th. So, 
uh, he started uh, at the back actually uh, he had a great, great penalty so we caught him during the first uh, corner so anyways guys yeah uh, thank you for watching uh, it has been not so great but uh, it was okay Grand Prix for us in this Japanese Grand Prix at our home GP so it looks like I would like to say thank you for watching and see you again Sayonara